Iranian blogger arrested for correcting the Ayatollah's punctuation in a tweet. <laughs> okay. You heard me right, you guys. Imagine that you corrected someone's spelling, grammar, and punctuation, and you get accused of espionage for Israel because of it. Okay, let's dig into it. And, and like, it, the Islamic Republic is such a fucking joke. It's insane. <laughs> If someone had told me this, I'd be like, no, you're kidding me, man. Like, that's a meme. That's a meme. It happened. It happened. Okay, let's get into it. In an alarming escalation of the Iranian regime's crackdown on dissent, blogger and satirist Hussein Shanbezadeh was arrested on June 4th by authorities in the northwestern city of Arzabil. His alleged crime posting a single period punctuation mark under a tweet by the Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei last month, and an apparent mocking of Khamenei's failure to use proper grammar and punctuation. Despite Shambezadeh's reputation for humor humorous social commentary under his real name, prosecutors accused him of the grave offense of spying for Israel's Mossad intelligence agency <laughs> and insulting the Shia Muslim imams. Shan Bezadeh's family vehemently denies the unjustifiable charges, stating that he merely uses social media for satire. The blogger's innocuous period mark citation garnered over... Um, excuse me. The hashtag bearing his name garnered over... 57,000 hashtag mentions with supporters questioning what information did Hussein have access to that he could even spy on? Did he have missile or nuclear information? Why are you weaving nonsense? The regime's draconian overreaction underscores its willingness to concoct absurd pretexts to imprison those who dare to poke fun at Iran's, the Islamic Republic's hypersensitive leadership. So, okay. Let's let's back up and just just make it simple. Ali Khamenei posted some stuff. He he made a post. It was you know just you know standard regime propaganda, whatever, whatever. This man replies to the supreme leader with a single punctuation mark because again he is a satirist. He is a writer. He is a proofreader. It's his job to correct these things. He that's his job. He replies with a single period mark. And he ratioed, <laughs> he ratioed Khamenei <laughs> with a single period mark. And because he ratioed the Supreme Leader with one period mark, they go arrest him a month later and be like, oh, you're spying for the Jews. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> If I had, if someone had told me this, he'd be like, no, you're making this up, man. Come on. Like, yeah. So, Armin. So, for people who don't know yeah. what ratio it means, okay, so it means that you got more likes or retweets than the original tweet that was posted, right? So, a lot of people think this is uh, the main reason he got arrested. Is that that just he put a dot and people were, he was correcting the supreme leader. So, here, here's the supreme leader's tweet. So the Supreme Leader posted, uh, by the way, just so that you know, Twitter is illegal in Iran and Khamenei has a Twitter account. So there is a, a contradiction right there. So it says, So he's posting a picture of the volleyball team of students in Iran and talking about them. And then you can see at the end of the sentence here, there's, miss, there's no dot. He forgot to put a dot. So Hossein here just put a dot. Right there, okay? <laughs> like, yep, you forgot. You dropped us, sir, <laughs> right? And so the original tweet got... <laughs> you um... dropped us, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, many... <laughs> so you can see how many the Supreme Leader's tweet got 7,000 like. And where is it? So his Hussein's tweet got 14,000 likes. So that was embarrassing that the dot got more likes than Khamenei's original tweet. And they immediately arrested him for this, right? And a lot of people were making fun of Khamenei of how 
like they show the strength of the people over the supreme leader because people are like look how pathetic you are you are afraid of dots now like when you this shows that the regime when you arrest people over dots that's a sign of weakness that's a sign that you're you know crumbling that you can't even tolerate dots and people were at, on Twitter asking, there were people, other journalists in Iran were asking, like, just a little tweet, like, are commas okay? Like, somebody was like, <laughs> Am I for a comma? And, then, and then somebody was asking, like, what about question marks? Are question marks illegal too now? <laughs> like, what about someone like, I wonder about the semicolon. Like, so people were posting this. And then they, they were being accused of being Mossad spies in the comments. No. Like, a lot of pro-regime people were like, some were like, somebody was just posting, like, are commas okay? And people were in the comments like, like you're a Mossad agent. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, just for that question, right? And also, let me actually show this. This was posted in Charlie Hebdo by an Iranian artist. Yeah. To oh, show this how, is so good. Yeah, yeah, to show how pathetically weak this is that somebody, um, that Khamenei is to a position that a, a dot can now crush him. That's um, because we were just talking about Atlas too. Yeah, <laughs> it was a coincidence. Yo, how freaking pathetic do you have to be? Atlas is carrying the whole freaking world on his shoulders. This dude is crumbling over a period. A period, <laughs> <Canada>. yes. <laughs> I'm so but, stupid. Okay, so <laughs> so they I <laughs> want. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's look at this. So oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So this is the Telegram uh, message. So once they arrested him, they realized that this backfired because this was so embarrassing for people. You know, you're trying to control what people think by arresting them over a dot, but obviously they didn't think about what they were doing because this is going to be a meme now. This is going to be a meme forever. I guess the Khamenei is a supreme leader who cannot tolerate a dot. Like, this is the best, you just gave your enemies the best um, ammunition to, to, um, to insult you or to uh, mock you, right? So as soon as that happened, they went, they came out and they were like, oh, they found some tweets from him from a couple of months ago where he, was in, where he said a few things that were insulting to, to imams, to Shia imams, who were considered insulting to Shia imams, right? And that backfired originally. Let me actually be remove this so I explain this. You know why that backfired? Because that was a couple months ago, and they arrested him immediately after putting this dot. So not only did that not explain why he was arrested, people were wondering, wait a minute, this means that Khamenei is actually more holy than the Shia imams. Oh, snap right because 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 he said something kind of offensive about the holiest people in shia islam and they ignored it they didn't arrest him but a dot under Khamenei's tweet got him arrested so not not only that excuse was not justifiable because people like yeah sure why didn't you arrest him a couple months ago and now just a coincidence that you're arresting him now right after this dot so it cannot be about that. But now that you mention it, why is insulting Khamenei with a dot more of a crime than your holiest figure in Islam? So he's even more holy than your holiest figures, apparently now in Iran. So they went with the second attempt at trying to say that he's a Mossad agent. Obviously, the thing that people go for uh, as soon as you want to accuse something of anything in Iran, right? But here's a problem. When did you know he's a Mossad agent? Did you just happen to find out that he's a Mossad agent immediately <laughs> after he ratios Khamenei? Like that doesn't seem to be that doesn't seem to be right. And then they only those evidence. working with the little Satan could ratio the supreme leader. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. So that didn't seem right. Like okay, sure, you immediately found evidence that this guy is a Mossad agent. Um, right as soon as he ratioed Khamenei, sure, and they uh, they released evidence that he's a Mossad agent. Okay, 
by exposing Telegram. Uh, no, no, this is WhatsApp. WhatsApp uh, messages between him and what the massage agents paid him to do. Right. So let me actually bring this up. Uh, okay. Let's look at this. So it says, Salam Azizam Montazirat Budam. Let me actually make sure. Yes, here. That this is correct. Yes. So it says like, hi, dear, I was waiting for you. This is apparently the Musad agent. And then the Musad agent is saying like, do you want to have a consistent um, source of income? <laughs> okay. And then he responds, والا بستگی داره که چطور کسی از پول بدش نمیاد که منتها پول مفت هم وجود نداره همونطور که میدونی like of course well it depends well nobody hates money um, uh, but there's no there's no such thing as free lunch like what do you want me to do and the Mossad agent says قطعا چیز زیادی نیست و برای تو هم سخت نیست like of course it's not, a, it's not something big that you're supposed to do and it's going to be easy for you to do and he responds, he, uh, well, well, they go on. What am I supposed to do? And then the Mossad agent says, uh, oh, and and I don't think there's anybody in uh, in our time in our timeline that we trust as much as you. Like you're the most trustworthy one that we could hire for this. And he says, like, it's your kind. It's that's from your kindness. What am I? So and then the Mossad agent says, a Ruzi. Uh, چهار تا توییت برامون بنویس و ماهی 15 تا 20 تومن به صورت ارز دیجیتال میاد حسابه like write four tweets for us every day like, like tweets anti-regime tweets every day and we will send you a cryptocurrency in return right so this is the this is the back and forth that they showed that shows that he's a Mossad agent right the problem is the problem is that his messages, his his the way this is not the way he talks, and also his his keyboard is using the word yeah with two dots under it, right? And most Iranians' keyboards doesn't have yeah with two dots under it because that's Arab, like that's how Arabic works, right? It's mostly religious Iranians. Or pro-regime Iranians who have keyboards with the ye, like their key, their phone keyboards where they're typing the ye has two dots in it because I don't know they're, they're writing Quran verses or hadiths or most Iranians when they're typing Persian to each other their ye. If you go actually look at all his tweets and all his writings, his ye his the word ye the letter ye doesn't have those two dots. But when you talk to religious Iranians, you see when they're typing, for some reason, their their letter yes has that two dots under it. So wow. this is something that they wrote themselves. This is not something that he wrote. So it's kind of obvious that this is not a man that has those letters on his Persian keyboard, right? Between the lines, the meaning of between the right. lines, true definition re of reading between the lines or between the dots. <laughs> <But I'm sure. laughs> Darko was saying again the dots. Oh, well. <laughs> oh <laughs> two dots. Oh no, how could it be? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite was Al saying, I wonder what he does for three dots. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid we see an ellipses. Help us, Lord. And I I was just loving everyone in the live chat just putting just periods. Period. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at these Iranian pro government Iranian. I don't know people. So Iranians Israeli spy was arrested in Iran. Mossad oh, agent. God. Oh, here let me actually put it in the screen. I Israeli spy was arrested in Iran. Mossad agent Hossein um, uh, Shambezade, who was planning to leave the country, was arrested in the northeast uh, northwest of Iran. And there's the so Hamas many pro-regime, yeah, there's so many pro-regime people um, celebrating this on Twitter, which is so weird, over dots. Yeah, but this is, a, this is a new low. This is a new low for the regime. This is the first time somebody has been arrested for 
simply tweeting a dot. It's so crazy. Yeah. I thought things were already really bad when they arrested the cooking influencer for uh, posting a video of how to make the recipe for a cutlet on the, the anniversary of, of Gossam Soleimani's death. Like that was already like really bad. That was a low, but this is this is a new low. Mm -hmm. Um Zaid is saying, you know you're a legend when they give you that much lore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good but point. imagine like you thinking like Mossad hires somebody in Iran to post four tweets a day. On social media and be critical like Mossad doesn't need to do that we already have so many people on Twitter posting against the regime like four tweets like what are you right. talking about like I don't know it's, well it's forget just, like... just tweeting uh you know Mossad is in the Islamic Republic closer than the jugular vein as they say yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are closer to you. Like they use the uh, Mossad threatened the Islamic Republic using a Quranic verse, because in the Quran Allah says to Muslims that we're there that He's closer to you than your regular vein, and Mossad threatened the Islamic Republic by using the same Quranic verse. And that they're 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 actually completely correct about that. Like the information they have about inside mm -hmm. the regime. Every time they want to do an operation against any of the agents of the Islamic Republic or, or their own people, it just shows how how deep they are within the system. They are, there are many people within the regime right now working that there are actually Mossad agents. But it's not, it's not like that. It's not like some hiring journalists to post dots. That's not how they operate. They actually have much, they are actually a lot more sophisticated than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> They don't need to pay someone for a ratio, honey. Um, <laughs> how freaking embarrassing. Um, so let's go through the super chats that we just got. Ve okay, this is very sweet. Fonzie sent a $5 super chat. Thank you, Fonzie. Saying, just wanted to say thank you both. Susanna mentioned that it was ex-Muslim woman who finally punctured the lefty bubble that she was in. Same happened to me. It's very true. I describe it as, you know, like when you're in the woods and you step on a twig and like the sound of that twig snapping is just like so loud somehow it was like mentally this twig like snapped in my mind like the the mirror like the illusion was just broken and you can't put it back together again um this is why i'm like so passionate about the ex-muscle movement um because it really is such a perfect mirror to like hold up back to people and be like oh yeah well what about this then what about this then you say you're all for these minorities that you hold up and put up on a pedestal, but then actively shit upon any minority within the minority. It's like ridiculous. Um, Kush Jindal then has some recommendations of more Hindu gods that we should look up. One is, okay, let's see this. Parshunram. Parshunram. Parshunram Janyati. Oh, yeah, okay, so but he's just kind of like more of he's like an aesthetic. I mean, some of these photos he is freaking shredded, don't get me wrong. But I mean, he's you know, being like a little priesty dude or an aesthetic like a monk in the mountains, like it's not nearly as cool as being agony, like let's be honest. Um mm. and Christian Dahl is also saying Oh wait, no, there was the other the other Hindu god. Okay, let's let's look this up. Nara Simha. Nara Simha. Nara Simha. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Are you gonna show us? Okay. Or are you okay, just okay. gonna enjoy it by yourself? Maybe I am. Okay. He's straight up eating a dude's bowels, though. So let me find a different image. I mean, I don't think YouTube will be mad if it's like. Okay. okay. It's art. It. YouTube yeah. is okay with that. But you know how I'm paranoid about these things. Right. Here we go. Okay. 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 We got lion. We got we got cobra halo. Cobra halo crown. Pretty cool. Cobra hey Cobra halo. That is badass. A cobra halo. That's what is your cool. halo made out of? Light. My halo is made out of cobra. 
That's okay, sick. That's I mean, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Uh? yes. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> he is straight it's up disemboweling a dude. This is art YouTube. Okay, look, like, don't show that. Actually, you're right. Never mind. I'm scared now of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the only gods that can put fear in us are the YouTube algorithm gods. Yes. Striking. We we live in fear. Mm. <laughs> fear of God. Yeah. Um, and Kush Jindal is saying also, please watch. So sorry, Taliban. So sorry, Taliban. Oh, is this a documentary? Oh no, this is like an animation. Okay, I don't I don't think we can watch this on the stream just for copyright purposes. Mm. Okay. But I will watch this later. Um, okay, there was a comment. Oh wait, one more, one more super chat. Call of Jindora is saying Atlas does not hold up the earth, he holds up the sky. Yes, actually, you're right. And the reason why um we say the earth is because the depiction of the earth is like a sphere. Because back then they considered Earth to be like a, you know, surrounded by a, the, the whole world was a sphere and the Earth was in the middle of it and the skies was a sphere. And Atlas is holding a sphere on its back, representing the sphere that is the entire heavens, Earth and heavens. And now because the Earth is a sphere, um, now some, some depictions of that replaces that sphere that is in the entirety of the heavens. With mm -hmm. the earth as the sphere. So that's why mm -hmm. in our the way we look at it now, sometimes we see depictions of him holding the earth. But you're right, he's holding the entirety of the heavens. Who was the dude that had to hold the pillars from Gibraltar together? Was that Atlas? Wasn't there something about pillars? I'm getting my Greek mythology messed up. Um but then that's why we call a globe an atlas, which is kind of cool. Mm. Um, yeah, see, that's, that's we call the globe an atlas. So, or let know. me see pillars. Um, okay, in some versions of the Miss Atlas is depicted as holding up the sky with the help of pillars. Because one of oh, yeah, I can. Hercules' trials, Hercules, however you pronounce him, is the... okay. okay. So in some myth, in some myth, Atlas is said to support the heavens at the western edge of the world near these pillars. Yeah. Atlas again. Okay. okay. I knew that it had something to do with Gibraltar, because obviously, guys, the world does not exist outside of the Mediterranean. And honestly, mm -hmm. I understand why they made that assumption because I mean, come on. No, okay. Um, um, okay. Oh, and Hari just gave a super chat with no comment. Thank you for the super chat, Hari. Oh, and they just keep coming in. HD Drake sent a super chat saying Buddhist deity Dorje Drolo rides a pregnant, angry tigress. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Should we just have a stream that's just deity <laughs> review? Deity review, and we just do our own little tier list of deities. Who gets S tier? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't see the okay. Let me try to find a good photo. Okay, I won't deprive everyone of the 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 fun. Okay, one second. Okay. Now everybody's going to come up with their favorite god or god. I know, right? Okay, let's remove a comment. Okay. See, I don't see any pregnantness in this depiction. Hmm. But the, the Buddhist early. demons are really cool, but I don't I think I think a large part of it is just how they depict fire. I yeah. think it might I think the fire might be doing a lot of heavy work, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the fire is doing the heavy lifting. Like, what can? What are you really bringing to the table? <laughs> mm. 
sorry i'm so i'm very silly um and there was one comment that you wanted to address armin it, arthur was asking yeah, somebody because sun? a lot of people I think a lot of people were using the sun symbol and somebody was asking what it's about. And I think it's referring to the um, Shiro Khorshid flag of Iran. So this is the actual flag of Iran. The current flag that you're seeing is, is recognized as the official flag. That is the Islamic Republic's flag. So the actual flag of Iran has a lion, a sun, a lion holding a sword and a, uh, and a sun. It's called Shiro Khorshid, which means the lion and the sun. And I think the sun symbol is referring the, that people are using in live chat is referring to the sun. I think so. Oh, we got another super chat. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. My bad. Do you thank you, Ravi, for the super chat? Did you know that Hanuman inspired Chinese deity Su Wukong, who inspired Goku from Dragon Ball Z? Yes, I did, and I knew that because of Gaijin American. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gaijin American has brought a lot of mythology lore in general to this community, but also like Chinese, especially. But we did a deep dive on the Monkey King a few years ago. The Monkey King is such a cool story. Um, is that the Monkey King? Is that the same? The Monkey King is different from this. No, Su Wong Kong yeah, is it. the Monkey King. Oh, Su Wong Kong is the Monkey King. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it's like an allegory for those the the supremacy of Buddhism, low key. Or at the least monkey the, king is too to silly to be like he's just like a, like a naughty little boy to be like a deity. He's is he a deity or just like a little like a rebellious creature with superpowers? Is he actually a deity? I don't think he is. Okay, well I don't know. I mean, when it, it comes when we go east, story, when it comes when it go east, the the lines between uh, creatures with superpowers and deities are just so blurry that I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> this is anything that has powers is now a deity. All right, so Kush, we got another super chat, which is the first super chat we got from Kush. Oh, thank, thank you, Kush. Kush. Um, just saying. Okay, Durga. Oh my God, we we are very okay. We. Durga is cool. Um, she rides a tiger, and Durga no, is. Lion. I've seen both. I have seen both lion lions and tigers, and she is actually, I guess, kind of the. I don't know what you call it, like the the origin yeah. of Kali, because Kali is technically when Durga goes super super saiyan. Durga goes Super Saiyan, Dark Side, turns into Kali, starts just murking people left and right until she accidentally steps on her husband. And then she feels sorry for disrespecting him and stops killing everything. Would you, look at look at her. Would you dare attack a lady riding a lion and having two cobras on her right and left? Like, would you dare attack something like that? No. No, but and and you better her... not piss her off because if you do, she transforms into Kali and just straight up wears limbs yeah. as her dress. <laughs> yeah, this is her. This is this her calm stuff. Wait till you see me. No, on yeah, this day. is. <laughs> this is her when she's on her when when she's in a good mood. Okay, yeah. because when she's when she's angry, she turns Kali. <laughs> yeah. Wait. If you don't like her, sorry, <laughs> and say something about it. Wait till you see what comes next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh okay oh wait we got it okay we got more um arn arn dahanash rishwar god is half man half woman thank you for celebrating your membership for nine months animation okay our this is a hard one are the oh it, it comes right up oh really? Our, no, it's, I don't think it's just... man, half woman. It's uh, half Shiva, half Parvati. Parvati. That... Wait, that comes, that auto fails for me as well. As soon as I write ARD, what, how many people have searched this name that it auto, ARD just auto fails to the name of this god? Guys, can yeah. everybody else try ARD on Google and see, is, does this name of this god is the first thing that... Uh... Autofills for you? 
That is strange. Why is Google? It, it so actually is a really cool story. It's very, very like allegorical and metaphysical. Um, but it is half Shiva, half Parvati. Parvati. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um and then H.D. Drake sent another super chat saying, I read that Monkey King is worshipped in parts of China and that they are aware that he is a literary character. Yeah, because the Monkey King is like an epic in the same way that the Odyssey is like an epic. Um, yeah. Mm. I think it's such a good kid's story too. Not to like be pejorative or anything, but it, as a child, like I didn't know about the monkey King until a few years ago, but if I was a kid, I would have just been obsessed. Like it's so interesting. Um, okay. So that brings us to the end of our show today. Thank you everyone for joining I so like much fun after my little vacation. Maybe. I'm glad that I'm back. <laughs> yes. Susie, they don't listen to me. Can you tell them to like the stream? They don't, they don't listen, listen to, to you. Me. They don't listen to me. Oh my god, guys, <laughs> put some respect on his name. No. <laughs> Everyone, please like the stream. The Atheist Republic army is growing. Our subscribers are growing. We dominated the march to 50k and now we are on the march to 60k, okay? You know, the jihad continues. And you must join the Atheist Republic Army. You can do so by subscribing, by liking, by commenting. Tell us what your favorite segment was this week. Tell us what you want us to cover next week. Tell us what you think we got wrong. Um, especially in regards to the Muslim personal law thing. I'd be I'd be curious what people think. Um, and thank you everyone for being a part of our community. We would not be able to do what we do, provide a community for atheists and non-believers around the world to those who really need it in societies and communities where it's not safe for them to be open about themselves, about what they think, open about their criticism, open about the taboos that they want to challenge amongst, amongst their traditions, you know, we're here to be that place for people and you support that when you support atheist republic so thank you to everyone that makes this possible if you're interested in supporting our work you can join the channel you know link down below you can support us on paypal link is in the description support us on patreon there's a lot of ways um if you are interested in helping us continue this work um the <laughs> zane my baby it's in long live the republic yes and um <laughs> yeah be 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 fierce out there guys you know go go ratio your local ayatollah with a with a period <laughs> do you know who makes the most amazing gorgeous and other adjectives that i can't use here on youtube blasphemous art ever we do and for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.